just going to take you on a little trip through Glastonbury. I parked up over there under that, well, the other side of that roofing. It's a nice church there. We just go through this little alleyway, the Gauntlet Vegan Takeaway Bakery. You'd have to take out a mortgage to eat there, even a little place like that. It's really expensive. Salad bowl, eight pounds. Uh, not cheap. Guinevere books, Guinevere. Some good books in there. Guinevere books. The Ankh. The symbol of Isis. Venus Aphrodite. The Ankh. Sacred Ankh of Egypt. Pentagram. The uh, pentagrammaton of the Gnostics. Beautiful. Like an Indian bazaar coming down this little uh, alleyway. Yeah, I um, I mean we've mortgaged a Bridgewater, so we'd like to obviously be mortgaged somewhere close up here. But the dragon, the tour of Gas Glastonbury, Tree of Life, pentagram, King Arthur, or a Viking king. As soon as we move, I'll go and have a look elsewhere. Glastonbury, dragons everywhere, home of the dragons. Dragons. Pink Floyd. Have you seen that movie, The Wall? It's a great movie. I saw it loads of times when I was younger. I know most of the words through the whole movie. Okay, let's take you into Dilloway Dilloway, where I got that Radha Krishna poster. This is a picture of the tour, this is what's on top of the hill, uh, that monument, and you take a photograph of it, I've taken photographs of it like that, through it, and they've caught the sun right there on that one. Very nice, very nice. Lots of uh, crystal shops and things, bookshops, witchy shops and things. Incense, artifacts.
Is still away, still away, still away, and still away. Hello, Mr. Terry Dillaway. Hello. How are you? All good, you? Yeah, good. I'm just doing a little bit of filming. Is that okay? Carry on, enjoy yourself. Thank you. I'm showing a friend of mine some beautiful artifacts from India. So by a very charming man, Mr. Terry Dillaway himself. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? All right. Yeah, good. Got a container in, so we've. You got it in, did you? Eventually. Oh, well done. Because you were st stressing about that, weren't you? All good things come to those in the end, eh? Let's hope so. <laughs> oh, you haven't got it yet, then. Never got it. It's all good. It's all good. Well, I've just ordered another container load because yeah. the last one arrived 16 weeks late. Yeah. So I thought I'd get another one in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your stock up. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been upstairs for a long time. Is it alright if I just film a little bit up there? Of course. All right, I won't be long. Hi, it's me. Some beautiful tapestries and you know these Indian artworks. I don't know what you call them. Friezes or whatever they're called. Hey Shiva. Nataraj, the dancing Shiva. You know they have that out the front of the um, CERN. Wow, look at that. £895. When I was in India, I could buy something like that for about 50, 100 quid or something like that. Wow, I might have to go back to India one day to buy some stuff. Will you come with me? Will you? It's wonderful out there.
ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ I used to kit out my uh, apartment in India with furniture like this. I had some good things in there. I had a beautiful side cabinet that was made out of an old uh, horse-drawn cart, oxen-drawn cart. It really is quite stunning. I've got some old photographs I can show you one day. Really nice. I didn't pay a lot for it, the stuff. Well. Fair amount, but nothing like these prices. Of course, it's a lot of it is moving this around. If you import it, it costs a lot of money to import, and that reflects in the uh, prices. Okay, that's it. Looking good, looking good. I bought one of your old paintings uh, a while back. Yeah. There was a Krishna one, yeah. Uh, no, an Arjuna one. Yeah. He, he was, it was, it wasn't in great condition though, it was. It had a big stain in the middle of it. Some of them are just so old. Yeah. And now I just can't get them. It's so difficult yeah. to get. Yeah. Yeah. I shall select some incense. <laughs> 